What's good, y'all? Cal Visuals here, and today I'm gonna teach you how to edit those perfect skin tones in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Let's do it. All right, guys, so what we got right here are three little clips I selected um, that we're gonna go ahead and mess with. So this little clip right here is from a music video I did with the artist Arash. So getting some like black skin tones, and this right here is from another music video. This we've kind of got, you know, more of like a Persian kind of Middle Eastern tan skin tones. And then we've got that straight white porcelain and at night. So we've got some different lighting scenarios as well as some different skin tones to work with here to show you guys. So first and foremost, jumping in, let's go ahead and just do some basic corrections here. Um, and so it's important, I think, for us to, before I jump into these, let's understand there's a difference between color correction and color grading. Grading is kind of setting the overall tone and look for your film. Color correcting is making adjustments to correct the footage, um, you know, so getting it to the proper exposure, getting the skin tones correct in the way they're supposed to look, etc. But let's go ahead and jump in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a standard S curve, um, just kind of get some good contrast here. Start something like that. All right, blacks down, shadows down, highlights and stuff down as well. Okay, so that's a good starting point. So let's go ahead and jump in here. I'm gonna get to a better spot for his skin tones. Cool. So let's go ahead and jump over here to Lumetri Scope. So if you don't have this wheel already set here for you, what you're going to jump here to this little tool, hit the vector scope YUV. So this is going to be big and helping us move here. We can also use the histogram here as well. So this is going to help us read here. Um, so here, as you can see, I had a little, I was a bit overexposed, you know, so the highlights were kind of boosted out just a little bit over 100. Um, and then as you can see here, so we should probably actually bring those shadows back a little bit, kind of a little under there, let's see. Um, but what, what we're really gonna use here for, go ahead and setting these skins, is this line right here. This line in between you know, the yellows and reds, magentas and greens, cyans and blues, this is our line we want to be along. The more along this line we are, the better our overall skin tones are going to be looking. Um, so we're going to try and move and get a bit better skin tones than what we have right now. So we're going to use the selector here and draw all over his skin tones here and try and select his full skin in here. All right, so something like that looks good. De noise a bit here. Go ahead and turn that off. Go ahead and clean up the blemishes a little bit as well. Something like that looks good. All right. So let's go ahead and jump into our corrections here. So as you can see here, we're a little bit pushing in the blues and cyans. Excuse me, the blues. So as you can see over here, we're kind of pushing towards the yellows and the blues. Um, so overall, I want to clean up the mid-tones a little bit. I'm going to give them a little more of a pinkish blue hue. Um, so that's going to kind of take out those yellows a little bit. All right. Highlights. Highlights, it was overcast. You want to usually kind of mirror the overall lighting you're getting. So if your highlights are warm, you generally want to go somewhat warm. So I'm going to go a little cooler here with the highlights. And then shadows, we've got a lot of, we've got a lot of pull towards the blue here. So I'm gonna kind of go towards the red and magentas here with the shadows. All right, that's looking pretty good there. Um, and I'm noticing a little bit with the tint here, but let's go ahead and kind of move this so you can see, as you can see kind of that wheel over there you can see it moving on the wheel. So that's totally changing where it's at color-wise. So I think honestly, I'm pretty happy with the tint there. As you can see, same thing. 
temperature moving here. Let me go, ahead and go a little cool with the temperature. So as you can see here, our before and after. And then what I like to do is come back up here. Saturation. Up there, a little more contrast. Something like that. And then I will come in here. And go ahead and make a nice little LUT to finalize the overall look. Um, nice little LUT to finalize the overall look. Um, let's try something like that. So we'll just come back to the curves here. Just settle this down ever so slightly. Bam! Now you've got some corrected skin tones and then an overall film look. You know, and then if you wanted to drop that look, there we go all right let's jump to number two all right so let's find a good spot here cool again i'm gonna jump to overall kind of s here i don't want to go too high as you can see already highlights kind of pushing way too harsh there so bam pull this guy down a bit and I'm gonna go ahead and start just directly from right there. So it's definitely not everything we wanted in regards to the skin tones. So we're gonna go ahead and add more. So as you can see, we added way too much that's okay we're gonna go ahead and correct all that denoise it a bit add a little blur to clean up those blemishes a bit Cool, pretty good start. So let's jump to corrections. So as you can see here, we are way too yellow and green. Um, so let's go ahead and punch over here. Get some magentas in there. Something like that. Shadows, I'm gonna cool these down because we were in a very warm and lit spot. Just way too warm. Cool those down a little bit. Highlights, again, you wanna mirror what you had in the lighting scenario. So these are gonna be more towards the yellow white line. All right, so we're looking pretty decent here. Let's go ahead and adjust the tint. As you can see here again, you can see how it changes and alters it. I'm trying to get more along that line. Something there. Saturation. The contrast. And then I'm going to go ahead and correct the 
overall piece. But beforehand, as you can see, way better for the skin tones. But I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this overall just a little more. Okay, and again, I'm going to give this a overall LUT and finish. Let's go with And then just because this is a film piece and I want it to have more of a, you know, grungy, edgy look, I am going to not go for perfect skin tones. I would do something more like this. I would desaturate it, take the blacks down, take the shadows down, probably these highlights as well. Then I'd go in here and I'd definitely bring some vignette going on. something like that. So you can see how big of a difference that does in making it so much more edgy um, and grungy. But so, you know, just a nice cleaner look here. But again, this is really what I would go for um, in kind of editing up and, and trying to get that really grungy, edgy look that I'd be going for with this film here. But let's go ahead and jump to this last set of skin tones that we want to edit and correct here. All right, so this looks like a good spot for us right here. Let's jump to the curves. Bring that down. Okay. All right, so what I'm doing right now is, again, just making some basic adjustments in the basic overall look. So I'm gonna go ahead and get, what I think it's just basic skin tones here. So that's okay, but we definitely want some more. Yeah, that looks great. This is like a really good scenario here. Okay. Denoise, let's blur it a little bit. Just to clean up the skin somewhat, 2.8. That's good right there. Cool, looks pretty good. All right, so actually, as you can see here, skin tones are pretty solid in this scenario, but I still think it's a little green and yellow to me, so we're gonna go ahead and correct it just a tiny bit here. And we're gonna cool down the shadows. And the highlights. We're actually go slightly towards the cool side because it was at night. I want it to be a cool scene here. Um, and we're above fluorescence, really. Um, street lights. So they were pretty much white. Um, not white. There were cool lights. So again, let's see here, that's way too cool. I'm just gonna leave the temperature as is here, actually. I think I might have gone a little harsh with magentas too, so I'm gonna push a little negative here with the tent. So just a little negative with the tent 
just to get the overall look a bit better there. Add some contrast. Lose them a little bit in the shadows. So we'll add some sharpness. We add some saturation if we want. Um, again, to this, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of a, a vignette effect. Just to bring the focus more direct in towards the talent there. And vignette it even more. Um, I'm gonna grab this here. And again, this is when I'm in the final decision making phase. You know, okay, I've gotten my overall color corrections. Now I wanna give my film or music video, whatever have you, an overall look. And this is where I come in to do it. It's important, definitely always do it in creative. If you just come up here to Lumetri Color um, and you add a color effect, you cannot adjust it. You know, if you put an input LUT here, the LUT is what it is. What I love about coming in here in creative and using the look there is I can select anything. So again, let's go to C10 log, you know, and I can make it as high as I want or as low as I want. So I'm gonna go like something like that right there. And then I'm just gonna boost that up a bit. And here we are, so let's take that off and take that off. So that's the original file, skin tone color corrected, and then just a tiny bit added for the grade. Now again, guys, all of these are done very short very fast. Obviously, I would take a lot more time in trying to really perfect and get the overall look that I truly want for all of these, um, but you get the general idea. This is the best way to correct and edit your skin tones. Again, using this, you can really mask out and see just directly, essentially, only the skin tones. So those are the only, that's the only thing you are correcting and adjusting within this um, set video um, so it's just really really good for getting those very fine changes to the skin tones correcting those blurring it removing blemishes it overall is just going to make your overall look and project so much better that's a wrap that's it for this week's episode how to make those perfect skin tones in adobe premiere pro cc hope y'all enjoyed if you have a question comment or concern drop it below new to the channel be sure to subscribe i'll see y'all next time